This tutorial will show you how to make this washcloth, or you could use it as a dishcloth. This is a great project for beginners, and it would make a great gift. Tuck it into a gift basket themed with pamper yourself spa items, and you have a perfect gift for Mother's Day. To make this project, I'm using cotton yarn and a size G crochet hook, but any similar sized hook would work. We're going to begin with a foundation chain of 35 and you can make the foundation chain longer or shorter if you want it to be slightly larger or slightly smaller. Just make sure that your foundation chain is an odd number of stitches. Once you have a chain of 35, we're going to work into the fifth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and in this fifth chain we're going to double crochet. Then chain one, skip a stitch, and in the next stitch, double crochet. Then chain one, skip a stitch, and in the next stitch, double crochet. Chain one, and you're going to continue this pattern all the way across the chain. So skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one. This is the end of row one, and you'll see that the very last chain has the last double crochet worked into it. Now we will chain one and turn the work. And for row two, we're just going to work two half double crochets in each chain one space. So in this first space, not in the stitch, but in the actual space, you're going to put two half double crochets. Like that. And then in each of the chain one spaces across. Row two, in this last, uh, this was the beginning chain four turn, you're just going to use that as your last space and put two half double crochets in. So that's the end of row two. And we're just going to repeat row one and two over and over again. So from here you're going to chain four. That counts as your first double crochet and your chain one. Then you're going to skip the first stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Then chain one, skip stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Then chain one, then skip a stitch and double crochet in the next stitch all the way across. This is the end of row three. So that last double crochet went into the very last half double crochet. And we'll chain one, turn the work, and repeat row two. So two half double crochets in each space. And you're just going to continue repeating, alternating row one in row two until your washcloth is a square. So now my washcloth is square, generally an even uh, square, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sets of the row one plus row two, and I ended with one extra row of row one, and that's just so that it matches, the, you know, the top and the bottom match, so the open work begins it and closes it. So now I'm going to work a border all the way around all four sides. So to work the border, 
We're going to first go down the side. This is the same yarn. We never fastened it off. So to ease around this corner, I'm going to chain one. And then we're going to work into this um, is a double crochet, the last double crochet that you worked in the last row. We're going to put three single crochets going around that post of that double crochet. In the next row you come to, the end of this row of half double crochets, you're going to put one single crochet in the side of that row. Then you've come to another double crochet, so we'll put three single crochets in that row, at the end of that row. Then at the end of the half double crochet, one single crochet. In the end of the double crochet row, three double, um, sorry, three single crochets. And you're going to continue all the way down the left hand side of your washcloth. When you get all the way down to the bottom, you're going to chain one again to ease around that corner. And now we're working along the bottom edge. So this was your beginning chain. And what you're just going to do is work two single crochets in each space. And just continue along the bottom edge. Now you're at the end of the bottom and in this last uh, space here, this is going to be your last place to put two single crochets. And then you'll chain one to ease around that corner. And this is essentially the same space but now it's the side of a double crochet. So we're going to put our three single crochets and go up the right side of the washcloth. And it's going to be just like the left side, so three single crochets in the double crochet space, and in the end of the half double crochet row, just one single crochet. And then three, oops, and then one, until you get back up to the top again. So this is the end of the right side of the washcloth and you have this chain, turning chain, that's the side and the top again. So just like we did in the opposite corner, you're going to put three single crochets for the side, then chain one and go along the top, even though it's the same space. You're going to put two single crochets in that space to make that corner. And then you're on your last side, so this is going along the top, you're going to just do, just like the bottom, two single crochets in each space. This is the end of your last side, the top of your washcloth, and in this last space here, you're just going to put the last two single crochets and then slip stitch into that first chain one that we did to ease around that corner just to finish your round and then fasten this off and you'll weave in that end to weave in the ends you just thread the tail onto a yarn needle and just weave it into some of these stitches under the stitches and this is a washcloth so it's going to be washed and used a lot, so you want to do a secure job hiding these ends. So I go down a few inches and go back in the opposite direction. And if you can see, sometimes if you can like split the yarn like that, so that's actually going through the yarn. That will help keep everything secure. And then after two or three passes, then just use your scissors to cut off the excess. Now your washcloth is complete 
and you can use it right away or if you're giving it as a gift you might want to block it. You can do a quick blocking by just giving it a few bursts of steam with your iron or you can wet block it. To wet block it you'll want to dampen your finished project and then lay it out on a blocking board or a piece of cardboard or I'm using my padded ironing board cover and using your fingers to manipulate it you'll want to pull it into a perfect square making the sides nice and straight and even. A blocking board is really nice for this because a lot of times they'll have grids right on them so you can make sure that you're pulling everything perfectly straight and square. Then you'll use pins to hold it in place until it air dries. Make sure you're using high quality pins so that they don't rust. By blocking your washcloth you'll make sure that it has a nice polished and finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make this project, I'd love to see pictures. You can post them on my Facebook wall or you can add them to your Ravelry project page and I'll be sure to see them there. So glad you decided to check out my video today. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you want to check out the description box, I'll put links to my Facebook and my Pinterest account so you can follow me there. And thanks so much for watching.